Hey guys, welcome back to Maggie the Priestess channel here today. Don't mind me showing off my bling. Real diamond ring that the universe sent to me in the mail, okay, anonymously. So hey collective, I don't know, some of you guys might be getting married. Um, there might be a proposal, some type of commitment coming ahead of you, okay? Because I felt the need to wear it, to show it off, okay? I'm hearing you're shining like a diamond. There's bling, okay? Ooh, there we go. Okay, so welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a psychic medium. I'm Maji, okay? I offer personal readings, collective readings. Um, if you want to check out my playlist for pick a card readings, you could do so as well. I have several ones there. Okay. And to my subscribers, thank you again for always showing your love, support, and your loyalty. All right. Okay. First card out is success. So you guys are, like I said, it's like you're manifesting success. You're manifesting greatness. Okay. So before I start this reading, I would like to show you this brand new deck that I made. Okay. To those who are new to my channel or those who have yet not been able to purchase my new deck. This is made by me. Okay. It's called the Chosen Ones Oracle Deck. Okay. And these are the types of um, like messages and codes that I have in here, okay? So if you feel drawn to buy this, if you feel intuitively that you are chosen and you keep seeing the number 144 or you consider yourself a chosen one, um, the link is down below to purchase this deck, okay? Thank you so much. Now let's get into this reading. Okay, so yeah, you're manifesting success here. People are, could be seeing you as successful or you could be manifesting success. Let's see. All right, I'm also hearing like people could be trying to um, block your success, trying to cause noise in your head. That's what I keep hearing, right? Ancestor Spirit, guys, of the highest way of light. What is the collective reading here today? What does the collective need to know here today? To my chosen ones. Collective of love and light. What does the collective need to know? So Jesus' descendant was coming out. Some of you guys are descendants of Jesus here. I already have a video about that. If you felt drawn to that or if you agree with that message, check out that video. It's called Jesus' Descendant, okay? Now we have generational curse breaker. So you have a big mission on earth here. Your ancestors are saying, I'm speaking to somebody that's chosen here to break some type of generational curse. I feel like you have been successful because that was the first card. So you've broken already some type of curse. Okay. I just saw the 10 of pentacles in my third eye. Okay. I'm speaking to a light worker here. So you were chosen to break a, a pattern, a chain, a toxic cycle. All right. From generations to generations. What else spirit is going on with the collective here? Collective messages. The chosen one. Abundance. What I told you abundance okay money exactly the ten of pentacles that i saw in my third eye can't make this shit up okay so like i said you're breaking the generational curse of being broke of being poor um of just you may be having deja vu at this time or going through some sort of transformation your money is about to change okay you're going to start seeing the overpouring of abundance because you broke some sort of cycle you broke some sort of curse here Beautiful energy. So now you're going to be receiving like an overflow of abundance here. This could have been a, a money curse in your family or just anything. It's like I said, I'm seeing the Ace of Cups, like overflow of abundance. Okay. You're attracting a lot of success right now, says Spirit. We have light worker. Exactly. I'm speaking to a light worker. Okay. So yeah, let's get it. Yeah. You, you, you psychic. Okay. So you have some sort of clairvoyant highly intuitive power, psychic power here, okay? You might have felt like a black sheep in your life. If this is already resonating with you, um, hit the like button, guys. Show some love and support here. Like, share, and subscribe. You know what to do, okay? This is how we grow our channels. This is how we spread our light. And if you feel inclined to donate, okay, my um, information is down below, Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, okay? I also have my P.O. box down there, guys. If you want to send me your own oracle decks that you make, your own arts, your own books that you write, okay? I've had some people um, send me amazing things, so let me thank you here in this video, okay? Thank you so much to those who sent me um, their own book that they're working on, your own projects. Thank you for sending me your CDs, the letters. Thank you for sending me 
um, your own manga, okay? I had somebody send me all their mangas, okay? Like, they, I loved anime. So, yeah, I've gotten a lot of great things in the mail, especially recently. So, keep them gifts coming, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I am hearing one more. What's that last card here? Ooh. So, trauma. You could be dealing with some sort of trauma. That was the, that, that could be part of the curse here that you broke. It was like there was a generational trauma going on in your family, but you had the courage to break it, to speak your truth. One card, spirit. Okay, yeah. So we have your dreams are coming true. That's why, yeah, you've, you've broken some sort of curse here, and now you're manifesting your dreams. They're coming true. Okay? Your dreams are coming true, period. You're, you're a light worker here. Your light is shining. You're attracting abundance. You're, you're psychic here. You're, you're, you could be just awakening to this. And some of you guys have already been in this light worker stage. Okay. I'm going to get into the tarot now. Let's clarify more about this generational curse. Okay. So tell me about this generational curse for the collective spirit. Three of swords. Yeah, exactly. There was a lot of heartache, trauma. Um, I'm hearing rape. Okay, just just a lot of pain. You broke some sort of cycle of pain here of people putting you in third parties, you know, um, could have been dealing with love here as well. It's like there was a lot of conflict drama here that you decided to like move away from and say, you know what, no more. So like I said, now your abundance is growing. You could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. You could be an Aries, but it's like you're in this leader boss energy right now. Okay, highly boss energy. You're manifesting abundance. You're breaking a generational curse of pain. Okay? This could have been 300 years, 3 million years, 3 years. There's been a lot of dark clouds and pain here, especially in the heart chakra and your family. Okay? So as a light worker, I feel like you're teaching your family members how to open their hearts. Even those who came before you. Tell me more about this generational curse. Yeah, the moon. And the magician, wow, definitely a family curse here. But sure, you're, you're, yeah, you could be in the public eye or you're about to be, but somebody here is successful. Five of Swords, yeah, you're breaking generational curses of envy here, you know. I heard something, but I'm not going to say it because I don't want to say some crazy shit on YouTube here. I feel like I always have to limit what I say through YouTube. I'm really working on my Patreon. So if you guys are interested, comment down below if you really feel like I should make a, a Patreon where I could make more explicit videos that I could like, you know, speak free, like speak freely, protected. Okay, so let me see here because I'm getting a lot of downloads right now, guys. A lot, a lot, a lot of downloads. Okay, so with the Three of Swords, um, somebody here put some sort of curse over your family. It could have been generations ago it could have been recently through your mom your dad something like that excuse me okay we have cancer and gemini energy here there's a lot of there's a lot of things that were hidden about your family tree and about the things that you didn't know and um i'm sorry if it's loud in the background but there's some people talking and i can't stop it with the window open so yeah with the magician yeah there's a lot of like secret competition in the family or outsiders here a lot of envy in your family a lot of magicians people who practice dark magic here i feel like you're obviously the light worker in your family they could have been practicing brujeria santeria voodoo shit like that then we have the moon so there's a lot of secrecy there's a lot of things that were hidden okay behind the scenes there was a lot of spell work so you broke some sort of curse here okay um, that could have been with a third party interference. Like I said, there's a lot of competition that you broke here. Things were exposed. The enemies have been exposed. A lot of jealousy in the family, for sure. Within, within the own family members here. Definitely there was a lot of spell work in your family, if I must say. What's this magician with the five of swords? Somebody could have been trying to hide some sort of pain or betrayal here. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. A lot of pain and betrayal. Look at that. The Ace of Cups that I told you I saw. That's that overflow of abundance that's coming towards you and the High Priestess. So yeah, you come from a lineage of High Priestesses and High Priests of very intuitive psychics here, mediums. 
okay? Like you and your family have had this connection to the divine. I feel like you have been blessed with this because this is my chosen card. So I feel like I'm speaking to a Pisces possibly or a Pisces cusp, okay? Um, your name can start with an M, an A, a C, a B, or a J right now, a T, okay? But I'm getting like you were chosen here to be this light worker in the family to release the secrets because you hold the secrets. It's like your ancestors are passing down this gift and this secret. You have a beautiful gift within you that overflows. It's a lot of love. It's a lot of empathy. And I feel like you broke this curse by following your intuition and tapping into your subconscious and your Akashic records as well as your heart chakra, okay? So it's like you healed something, you love unconditionally, and now you're getting blessed, like I said, in Ace of Cups. You hold the Holy Grail in your family here, okay? So you are a true magician. Yeah, we have the devil, Capricorn energy. So there's just a lot of, like, possessiveness. Yeah, you close out, yeah, I told you, you close out this cycle. So you, you broke this curse, I'm telling you. You elevated your whole tribe, your whole family tribe here, and you did it gracefully. I'm hearing very poised. There was some type of thing that ended, like this cycle of betrayal, okay, of deceit, envy, jealousy. Um, so that's what you're breaking here. You're removing the blindfold, okay, and you're speaking your truth. There's a lot of possessive energy, controlling energy. So, you know, like I said, there could have been a lot of trauma, molestation, rape in your family, within your family, whatever it was. There was somebody here that was always controlling or people falling into illusions and temptations, okay? Okay. But it's like you close out that cycle. You broke that curse. Let's see. Clarify abundance here for the collective. Clarify abundance. Why is abundance here, Spirit? Thank you. Nine of cups. So that's verifying that your wish is coming true. There is some sort of gift here that is coming true. Ace of pentacles. Yeah. Definitely. There's a brand new opportunity coming your way. And there's love too. Yeah. There is a partnership, a collaboration coming towards you. Okay. This could be job or love and career. But I'm seeing with abundance, it's just an overflow of money and love in your life now. So yeah, money, stability. You're ending a very to toxic cycle here. You're breaking a karmic cycle, okay? You're getting a wish fulfillment, and there's a brand new blessing from God. This is coming from the hand of God. I feel like this is coming as your reward for breaking this curse, okay? For taking the right steps, following your intuition, and doing things out of love. It's like you, you're on a higher vibration than your family members here. What is this Ace of Cups? There's a new beginning, my love. A brand new beginning. You're going to get everything that you want and more. There is a dream coming true. You will see life from a different perspective or people will start viewing you differently here. What's this Ace of Cups? Yeah, Five of Wands. Like I said, it's like there's a lot of people around you that are competitive or bringing you drama, but Spirit is granting you a brand new beginning where there's not going to be a lot of conflict anymore. There's a lot of conflict and jealousy within the family here. I'm not going to lie. I really do see that. Um, or within, yeah, the seat here. Somebody wants to, like, deceive you, blind you, plot against you to stop this forward movement in your life, this blessing from coming. So, yeah, somebody might be trying to block this blessing. But Spirit is trying to illuminate who? With the Seven of Swords, I feel like there's people around you wearing masks trying to steal this Ace of Pentacles, trying to steal this wish fulfillment from you. Nine of Pentacles, exactly. You could be single right now or you own your own business, entrepreneur, your own LLC. Um, with the Nine of Cups, you're definitely manifesting a lot of money right now and stability, a lot of abundance. But it's like you need to be careful about those around you, okay? Because I feel like you could feel like you're gang stalked or there's a lot of bullying or people causing tr tr uh, drama around you. But I feel like you're being guided by spirit here. So just continue to listen to your in, uh, intuition. Two of Cups. Like I said, there is a partnership. You are in alignment with your higher and lower self, the Empress. So you could be a divine feminine here watching. Okay. Like I said, you're a queen. You're a king here. You're royalty. You're coming off as somebody very creative, very abundant. You are attracting this into your life you're attracting love you're attracting your divine counterpart twin flame there's somebody here that's coming into your life as you're approaching this shift this is part of your destiny this emperor is part of your destiny so um yeah there's going to be like a, a divine counterpart coming into your life if you haven't met this person because we have the nine of i mean the ace of pentacles so beautiful there is love coming towards you Somebody sees you as wifey or husband material. 
That's the truth. That's clarity. Yeah, somebody has had clarity about you. I heard Virgo. Okay, clarify light worker. Clarify light worker here. Clarify light worker. Three of wands. Yeah, something you you expected is coming. Some type of weight is going to come off of you. It's like you've been carrying other people's responsibilities or people have tried to block your path and put burdens on you. All that is being released. You're going to be put in position here. Spirit is about to bless you divinely. Like you're going to feel like an empress or an emperor energy, okay? But very, very divine, very royal. You know your worth. What's this? Ten of wands, three of wands. A lot of fire sign here as well, okay? Four of wands. There, there could be some type of um celebration here. You, you're, you're applying for a new home or something about you having to get back to your roots, with this family here okay you need to get back to your roots and um yeah i'm also hearing you could be seeing 11 11 clarify light worker ace of wands yeah you're gonna feel a brand new spark here like i said there is somebody that there could be an air sign here that wants to apologize or is kind of watching you and wants to come towards you i feel like there's a lot of passion but there could be a third party somebody wants to collaborate with you Okay. We have, yeah, your strength. I'm hearing your strength and your success. Your strength motivates people. You're somebody that's very strong. You have the gift of courage. You could be a Leo. It's like you have this infinite potential inside of you that you're going to be able to tap into, my love. There's a lot of abundance. You're finally breaking your, this cycle. You're closing it out for your family. You're breaking those soul ties. This is beautiful energy. Yeah, 10 of ten of freaking pentacles. I told you I saw a 10 of pentacles. Family, you're breaking this generational cur uh, curse and you're attracting wealth. Something that you're very skilled at, that you work on yourself, which that you use with your hands. Like I said, there's somebody here coming towards you. Could be your boss or somebody in a higher position than you. Somebody with money, they're coming towards you. I also feel like somebody wants to commit to you. Wow, guys, there's a lot of money here. You're breaking a generational curse and you're attracting tremendous amount of wealth, like generational wealth for you and your kids and your family. Yeah, like I said, there is some sort of soulmate energy here. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody's highly thinking about you, wanting to take a leap of faith towards you too. Like I said, this could be somebody you could be meeting. Yeah, I do see also potential suitors. Like you do have a lot of admirers, whoever I'm talking to. You have a water sign, air sign. Like, it's like people see you as the, as the one, the, the perfect partner. Clarify dreams coming true. Yeah, this dream that's coming true has to do with your work, something that you're working on. Um, yeah, yeah, people watch you when you do this. You have a lot of people, like, watching you, interested in you. This is your destiny, the will of fortune, okay? This is your destiny. Something that was in your destiny is coming in fast. You might receive good news or um, a message about this, my love. Seven of cups. Yeah, you're going to have several options here. Maybe you were confused about what your life purpose was or whatever, but I feel like you're going to have clarity. You're, you have options, my love. Yeah, I'm speaking to an earth angel, Sagittarius energy. You're being divinely guided, okay? And to, you're being asked to choose wisely as well. Make sure you choose wisely, the Hierophant. Yeah, Taurus. You're somebody that has a lot of knowledge, okay, to give to the universe. And I feel like God and angels are surrounding you and protecting you. Wow, opening many doors for you. You're somebody that's going to be, yeah, your destiny here is to be very highly respected and very successful and very abundant. Seven of Wands. It's like you're fighting off a lot of jealous people. You're fighting off a lot of people energetically, but God in the universe is protecting you. Literally, is right here. The Hierophant and the Temperance. This is literally an Archangel Michael and God here protecting you. There's something that you're being protected from. Divine intervention is what I'm hearing. Stand up in your power. There's some type of dream coming true, and it's like nobody can take this. Nine of Swords. You may feel very anxious when this opportunity comes, or you may not know how to handle it. Connect to your angels and, and ask them for advice, okay? Yeah, but there is some type of celebration coming towards whoever I'm talking to, all right? Let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles, though we know there's abundance coming here. I'm going to use my abundance deck. So we can see what kind of abundance is this, okay? This could definitely be in the millions here, okay? From 10,000 to 
10 million or whatever in the 10th power okay this is money coming in the 10th power but it's going to be a huge blessing okay you are manifesting money i told you this is what you're manifesting money you're finally breaking this curse okay you're not you're not jealous it's like you're in your own lane you're leaving all that behind you're manifesting money abundance was the second card out tell me more what is this ten of wands i mean ten of pentacles what is this ten of pentacles spirit some of you guys might have been investing in stocks Something is growing. I'm hearing your money is growing. The seeds you planted are growing. Yeah, somebody here that I'm speaking to, you're about to purchase your new home. You're about to be rich. You're about to be rich and buy your freaking own home, dude. Yeah, a windfall of money. I'm telling you, wow. Whoever you are, dude, comment down below if this is resonating. Is this your story? Because look, windfall of money. That's the Ten of Pentacles. We have abundance already. So it's a lot of money. It's a whole lot of money in this motherfucker, all right? So you're manifesting a lot of money. There's an unexpected blessing. I feel like you don't see this coming. New money idea. Yeah, whatever ideas come to you, like hustle that shit because I feel like there's a lot of money ideas you have inside of you that can actually potentially bring you a lot of, a lot of abundance. So yeah, there's just an unexpected windfall amount of money coming towards you now that you broke this curse. And it's, I'm seeing this inheritance is coming from your ancestors. They're saying like you're getting this spiritual inheritance. For some of you, this could literally be an inheritance from a family member that you didn't even know you were related to that left you some type of money. Comment down below if that's you. But you broke, you completed a cycle here. You completed a, a curse and you, are, you were chosen for this, okay? You were chosen for this and it's like now you're being super rewarded and super watched over, okay? Whatever you're working on, make sure you get your copyrights. That's what I'm getting. Increasing paycheck. Your, your paycheck is about to increase. Make sure you move away from greedy people that are just in it for the money. And then it says a divine gift is on the way, okay? So like I said, with the fates and God and the angel here, it's like there's something the divine is trying to give you. It's a wonderful gift and it's yours. It's yours to take it if you want it. Okay, I'm going to pull like three cards from here and then I'll end this reading. Yeah, look at this card. Go after your dreams. There's a dream coming true. You're, you're going after it. You're working on it and your hard work is paying off. For others of you, it's like you need to start now because it will come true. This, this, this dream will bring you a lot of money. Okay, like I said, you're in this goddess energy. You're in this royalty energy. Go out. Have fun. All right. Make sure that you know how to balance work and play. New friends entering your life. There's new people coming into your life, your soul tribe. You've been having trouble sleeping. Drink some chamomile tea. Deception, false smiles. Yeah, there's, like I said, there's fake people around you, okay? There's people that are just going to be interested for your money, for your clout, for the position that God is putting you in. But you're being put in a very mighty position, okay, where you're going to be respected. And you got angels surrounding you, so... Give this video a thumbs up if that resonates. Then we have leader. Exactly. You were born to lead here. Your ancestors chose you to be a leader. And we have gold digger. Like I said, beware of people that are just interested in your money. Trying to come into your life just for money. Okay? Gold diggers. So, yeah, this could be an ex that may want to come back out of nowhere because <laughs> you're they're seeing you grow. You made money. Something here. There's some sort of huge money, whoever I'm speaking to. All right, I need to know who the hell you are because there's a lot of money here. Like we have this card twice here saying a windfall of abundance. Where's that other card? So I'll show you it's here twice. Okay. It's here twice. A windfall of abundance. So it's not just any little bit of money. It's a windfall of a money. Okay. Just beware of toxic people, fake smiling at you. Okay. Like just act spirit. He'll give you all the keep going. Yeah. Just keep going. No matter what you're going through, keep going. Yeah, some of you guys, if you're feeling depressed and you don't want to leave the house, make sure you do some type of sound healing or, you know, you buy some flowers, you go out for a walk, connect with the park, okay? This is all I have for you today, my loves. I send you love, light, and prosperity into your life. And congratulations to whoever's about to receive this windfall. But most importantly, congratulations to finally helping your family and your tribe 
break this generational curse. Send you love, light, prosperity, and I am proud of you. God is proud of you. The universe is proud of you.